G'day folks, my last video is doing terribly when it comes to views yet all the other data that I'm given by YouTube seems to say that it's a half reasonable video so if anybody's got any ideas about what's going on with that I'd like to hear it but that's not really why I'm here I'm here to thank you, the 641 people who actually watched that video when a video is like this it's you folks that leave comments and likes that really makes it worthwhile doing another video so many people leave comments on a regular basis it almost feels like my channel has a little community around it this is the thumbnail for the video in question if you haven't seen it or you want to have a look at it uh, let me know what you thought of it so a really huge thank you to all of you who view comment and like my videos thank you right let's make some chips this is just a small job small parts and only half a dozen to make um, in low carbon steel bright mild steel as we call it here it's horrible I've only tackled jobs in free cutting steel before this one um, and yeah I was pretty stunned to find out how terrible it is uh, because I haven't used it before sorry about the quality of this video but it was a rush job and I really didn't have the time to set things up and shoot the video the way I would normally this is just with my phone on top of the machine canopy so it's the best I could do now here for a change I'm actually creating a chamfer the way you would normally do it with the boring bar um, if I'd had a 12 mil spotting drill I would have done it with that but as this is a tapped hole I just needed to make sure I had enough chamfer there for when the tapped threads were in place and this is the insert for that boring bar I think the boring bar has a 8 mil diameter it will go into but you can see the insert is really quite tiny that's my little finger my lathe has two speed ranges it will do 3000 max or a thousand max but I've also come across uh, another pulley uh, during my time with the lathe which allows me 1650 maximum speed and that's what I used for this job so that I had some torque for doing the tapping this is just how I make sure I've got the alignment of the gang tool in the right place and here we're making some chips with my favorite parting tool it only does 20 diameter max but it is incredibly strong and with the low cutting force inserts it cuts really well this is why I said low carbon steel was terrible the spray coolant didn't turn on I had sparks coming off the machine never seen that before certainly destroyed that insert and this is how it completed that profile when the spray coolant was working yeah I couldn't I couldn't believe it I'd never seen anything like that happen before right if you just hang on a bit we'll have a quick look at the simulation of this profile being cut and then we'll have a look at the process all the way through I sped it up as much as I can I've enlarged it so it's a better view and uh, let me know what you think but before we get to that here's a quick look at the turret with the tools in it with the tap in the background in my homemade tapping device there's a look at the part you can see the finish is not brilliant it's okay but it's not brilliant there's the parting nib that was left on the part and I actually took that off put them in the center lathe and just turned it off so that the part looked half decent right here's the run through of a part being made I've cut out some of the delays where tool changes were taking place and things like that I've enlarged it a bit so you can see a little bit better what's going on not sure what's going on with this drill it seems to wobble about a bit I've actually ordered a coaxial dial indicator probably should have bought one years ago but um, I'm only just getting around to it now be interesting to see whether that helps me get the alignment of tools in the turret sorted out with my other lathe the turret height is not adjustable it's fixed so you really only have to judge the alignment of the tooling in the X direction but with this particular lathe it has uh, adjustment in height as well as in the X so 
I think a coaxial indicator may help me get this sorted out. Never really needed it with the other lathe, but um, I think it might be a handy device once I learn how to use it um, to have for the tools that go into the turret on this lathe. And if you've come this far, a really huge thank you for watching.